I need to introduce a very important topic, the fundamental theorem of calculus. Here's a theorem right here. If f is a continuous function and capital F is an antiderivative of little f, then the definite integral from a to b of little f of x dx is capital F of b minus capital F of a. So again, capital F is an antiderivative of this inside function. This b is the same as this b. This a is the same as this a. So you can evaluate a definite integral exactly using an antiderivative and just evaluating it and subtracting. So let's, just, let's see how that works out in an example. It says find the exact area under y equals x squared plus 1 from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So the exact area equals the definite integral of this function from 0 to 2. That would be the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared plus 1 dx. So this is the integral I'm going to solve. Let's take it up here. In this integral, from 0 to 2, this is my little f of x. I need an antiderivative for it. And an antiderivative would be capital F of x equals 1 third x cubed plus x. Now, it's also true that 1 third x cubed plus x plus 1 is an antiderivative of x squared plus 1. You can use any antiderivative. It doesn't matter. And that's why most people will choose to use the antiderivative with a plus 0 here. So I need to evaluate this antiderivative at 2 and then evaluate it at 0 and subtract. So this is going to equal capital F of 2 minus capital F of 0. Now, capital F of 2 is 1 third of 2 cubed. 1 third of 2 cubed plus 2 minus capital F of 0, 1 third of 0 cubed plus 0. And this is just going to be 0. 1 third of 2 cubed, 8 thirds plus 2 minus 0. So this is our, going to be our answer. 2 is 6 thirds. So this is 14 thirds, or about 4 and 2 thirds. This is the exact value for the area under that curve. And we got it using just a couple of cal calculations. The antiderivative evaluated at 2 minus the antiderivative evaluated at 0. Now here's some helpful notation. When you're using the fundamental theorem of calculus, you often want a place to put the antiderivative. So sometimes people will write you know, a set of brackets write the antiderivative they're going to use for x squared plus 1, and then put the limits of integration, the 0 and the 2, right here, and then just evaluate as we did. So you'll see me using that notation in upcoming lessons.